Hello there. Tonight I want to show you a really quite small stereo system that combines several technological developments that have only been available for a few years. This is a really small and really modern stereo system. It all fits onto this small table, as you can clearly see. Do have the power adapters down there? That uh, that's the only exception. Let's take a look at the components. We have a pair of uh, two-way stereo miniature speakers that, uh, despite their size, really do put out quite a big sound, as you are going to hear. These are WHD Mini Two speakers, and. As an amplifier, we have this. This is the LePi model LP2020A+. This is a Hi-Fi Stereo digital amplifier. This is a so-called Class T amplifier, which really is only a Class D digital amplifier with an adaptive algorithm in the amplifier chip. It's quite an interesting little unit. I did take it to university the other day and in the electronics laboratory I did do some experiments with this and I have to say it really performed quite well. I'm really impressed with this little thing. So as you can see this is quite a simple little unit. We do have a power switch. We have a uh, tone or direct selector switch bass and treble controls and then of course this volume control surrounded by a rather ugly blue LED. You may wonder why do I have this uh, not so very beautiful uh, rubber band around it. Well, as I already said, I have been messing with it and in the process I lost the screws. I'll have to dig up some new ones. On the back, as you can see, we have RCA stereo inputs. We have a little three and a half millimeter jack right there. These two inputs are only in parallel. There is no switching between the two, so you got to make sure that you only have one plugged in at a time. There we have the speaker output and a power input. 12 volts, 3 amps. Actually no, 13 and a half volts, 3 amps. That's the power adapter that came with this unit. Of course, it's also going to work on 12 volts and uh, I guess due to uh, the housing being partially open and not properly sealed, you can hear this uh, rather weird interference when I move this thing around. Yes, this is with all the tone controls flat. So you can see they are flat and I do in fact have this uh, bypass switch deactivated, as you can see. The source for this miniature stereo system is this Raspberry Pi mini computer. And yes, I did invest into a proper case for it, which you can open up and you can see some of it sticking through, all the connections. This is running a program or a, an operating system called Rune Audio. I'm going to put some links into the video description so that you can look it up and learn about it yourself. As you can see, I do have it connected to my home network. The USB thumb drive in the back contains the music that uh, this is playing. Then we have the audio output and the power input rather self-explanatory. Now, of course, there are no buttons on this thing, so how do you control this? Well, once again, a rather modern solution. We have the smartphone, and uh, if I uh, wake this thing up, as you can see, it comes with this interface that you can access on any usual web browser. You simply type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, and it comes up with this uh, menu and this is your remote control for everything. So as you can see I can do uh, play, I can do stop, I can restart the playback, I can skip through the track, I can skip
can go back, of course, and back to stop. It's all right there on the smartphone or on a tablet or anything that can access your home network. This is, of course, connected to my wireless network here in the apartment. So, that's how this miniature modern stereo system works. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.